distinguished ladies and gentlemen. We are here to experience the recapitalization grant for 1,000 petty traders by Mama Nigeria, the wife of Mr. President, Her Excellency Senator Oluemi Tunubu, who welcome your home. Today is a great day in the history of Delta States. We are honored to have the First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria visit us. We are here today to flag up another empowerment initiative. Over 36,000 petty traders across the country will benefit from this program. On my part, through the Yomata Charity Foundation, where everybody is somebody, I am providing support for autistic children and children with autism. My boss, Her Excellency, thank you very much for giving me fit to put smile on the faces of everybody in Nigeria. I am honored here today at the empowerment program of 1,000 women petty traders across the nation as part of our continued commitment to drive economic growth towards a better life for families. As we are all aware of the challenges faced by small and medium enterprises, I salute you all and celebrate your courage and resilience that keep you going to put food on the table for your families. Mama Nigeria has arrived, accompanied by Mama Delta. Shall we all rise as we welcome the First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, our own sister, our mother, Her Excellency, Senator. And now our mama be this, oh, we now get another one. Now our mama be this, oh, we now get another one. Now our mama be this, oh, we now get another one. Mama be this, oh, Everlasting Father, we thank you. Delta women, say thank you. Our First Lady from Federal Republic of Nigeria, we say thank you. Our First Lady Delta State, we say thank you. On behalf of Nigeria, we say thank you for this opportunity. But I thank you for Johnny Mercy's. You granted the mother of the nation. Father, we thank you because she's our own sister. And thank you for making it possible that here is the first place of flag of this exercise. Father, take praise and all adoration. We are so excited. We are so excited. I say take praise and all adoration. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we commit this occasion into your Abraham. Before today, you already know because you are the unknowing God that today is ordained for this purpose in Delta State. So, Father, we commit right from the beginning to the end into your Abraham. I pray that you take preeminence. Anything from the camp of the enemy return it back to sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, there will be peace in this place. At the end of the day, our mother will know that she visited a state that is peaceful, that is loving, in the mighty name of Jesus. And those that they want to empower, Father, whatever thing they will give to them, it will multiply. In the mighty name of Jesus, your word says that it's more blessed to give than to receive. I pray that you bless our mother, that I come to bless us, in the mighty name of Jesus. But I will take authority against all powers of darkness that want to raise their ugly heads. We are not ignorant of their devices. 
where your children gather, they want to raise their ugly head. Father, will put them under subjection that they will not be able to manifest. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cover the whole arena, the whole Zeta state, the whole Nigeria with the blood of Jesus. Father, thank you because you answered our prayers. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you. Your Excellency, Commander of the Order of the Nigeria, wife of the President and Commander in Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Our Excellency, Dickness Tobare, the Roman Knight of the Governor of the Outer State. Let me acknowledge the wives of the National Security Advisor, the Chief of Defense Staff, the Chief of Army Staff, the Chief of Air Staff, the Minister of Sports and Office, in Our Excellency's entourage, and also Mrs. Abu Ibrahim. Honorable Wahab and all the members of our entourage, the wife of the Deputy Speaker, the Delta State House Assembly, and wives of other members, honorable commissioners, and the wives of commissioners, the wife of the Chief of Staff, and other advisors here present. Our local government council chairman wives and the 22 female vice chairmen and the HPMs, the College of Permanent Secretaries, particularly the female permanent secretaries. All female chairmen and members of the various boards, commissions, and agencies. All our female counselors and supervisors, our royal mothers, our beneficiaries, gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are here to experience the recapitalization grant for 1,000 perpetrators by Mama Nigeria, the wife of Mr. President, our old sister, in whom we are well pleased. Our Excellency Senator Olurebi Tubu, C-O-N, the wife of our beloved President, who welcome the book. We call all the Good afternoon, everyone. I welcome you all today to this program. Data we make great. Data we make great. Una day, yeah. Thank you. God bless you. It is with great joy and a sense of humility that I welcome our beloved mother. Elegant, graceful, beautiful in and out, accessible and kind hearted. The First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, my own boss, Her Excellency Senator Luremi Tinibu, C.O.N. She is our sister, a proud daughter of Delta State. Welcome home, my boss. Let me specially thank my dear husband, Right Honorable Sheriff. For being a great support 
To other members of our mother's entourage, I welcome to Delta State, the big heart. Today is a great day in the history of Delta State. We are honored to have the First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria visit us. So God be the glory. Your Excellency, your commitment to the well-being of Nigerians through your renewed hope initiative in agriculture, education, economic empowerment, social investment, and health care is commendable. As a state, we have benefited from this, this initiative, including the distribution of notebooks and scholarship scheme for students grants for the elderly, and farmers and distribution of bag of rice to the indigenous women. We are here today to flag up another empowerment initiative. Over 36,000 petty traders across the country will benefit from this program. This is overwhelming and worthy of recommendation. As you always say to us, Our Excellency, no family will suffer in this administration. This guest here is a clear testimony that Nigerians will be catered for. Every philanthropy guest here is worth emulating. In line with this, my dear husband, Right Honorable Sheriff Oborowori, is supporting this program empowerment team with the sum of 50 million naira. <laughs> On my part, through the Yomata Charity Foundation, where everybody is somebody, I have empowered and support rural market women, initiated free medical care for the elderly and at the core of my foundation. I am providing support for autistic children and children with autism. My boss, High Excellency, thank you very much for giving me fit to put smile on faces of everybody in Nigeria. The book of Psalm 67, verse 6 says, It says, He shall hear our interest, and with God, He will bless you beyond your measure. Let me again thank our mother for choosing Delta State for this flag off. This is a sign that more goodies are on the way. It is our earnest prayer that your Renew Hope initiative will achieve its aim and bring more sunshine to Nigeria. So the beneficiaries, I congratulate you for being part of this guest year. I encourage you to make good use of this empowerment. Grow your business and contribute to the well-being of your families. To our guests, we appreciate your presence. Enjoy your stay in Delta and have a safe trip as you return to your various destinations. Thank you and God bless you.
on the throne of his fathers. I use this opportunity to wish Ogiame the 
grace, divine health, joy, peace and prosperity. The first lady and state coordinator of the Renewed Hope Initiative, Her Excellency Dikines Oborowuri. Wives of the National Assembly here present, wives of the Honorable Minister of Sports Development, Mrs. Rachel Owan Eno, wives of Honorable Members of Delta State House of Assembly here present, wives of um, members of the Delta State Executive Council present, wives of service chiefs that has joined me from Abuja today, one of your very own, wife of the Chief of Defense Staff, Mrs. Ogogo Musa, wife of the Chief of Air Staff, Mrs. Reiki Abubaka, wife of the National Security Advisor, Ajia Zara Nohu Ribaju, wife of the former Senate, Senator Abu Ibrahim, my sister is just my sister from the north. The husband and my husband have been friends since my husband's days and his foray in the National Assembly, Haji Habu Ibrahim. Director General Miriam Babangida Center for Women Development, Dr. Asabe Vilita Bashir. She's been here. Thank you for taking care of her. She's been here for some days now and some of our staff. They are trying to bring another center, Miriam Babangida Center, into Delta. And I want to thank the First Lady for when I called, both him and His Excellency agreed to have a center here in Delta State. So thank His Excellency. We have a lot to, to say once I get to my speech. Wives of traditional rulers here present, your royal highnesses, Beneficiaries of the RHI Economic Empowerment Program present. A beautiful, beautiful Delta women that are here. Thank you for this great reception. <laughs> gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Today is really a great day and very heartwarming for me to be back here home. Uh, it is really great. But Sadly, you all don't know my Shekiri name. Because you never call me that. But I'll tell you. Uh, it's like a pet name, but I think that's the name my mom gave me. Ubone. Do you know the meaning of Ubone? A thousand people in one person. So that's my name when I come home. Ubone. So, and, uh, so I had to let the cat out of the bag. So I'm really, really happy. And I think this is the Lord's doing for me to, I know I wanted to come to uh, the South South, but I was just contemplating, where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? And I think I called someone that wasn't, and then I called her Excellency. She was just alighting from the plane. She said, yes, we'd love to do that. So I really, really thank you. God bless you. I am honored to be here today at the empowerment program of 1,000 women petty traders across the nation. As part of our continued commitment to drive economic growth towards a better life for families. This event is taking place simultaneously across the 36 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. I bring you warm greetings to the good people of Delta State, from my husband, His Excellency, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I appreciate her host, the Governor of Delta State, His Excellency, Right Honorable Sheriff Oboro Ori, and his amiable wife, the First Lady of Delta State and RHI Coordinator, Her Excellency Dickiness Tobore Oboro Ori. 
for the warm reception and hospitality accorded us since our arrival. I thank you. As we are all aware of the challenges faced by small and medium enterprises, especially the petty traders who form the backbone of our local economies, these challenges, however, have not deterred the strength of our women. I salute you all and celebrate your courage and resilience that keep you going to put food on the table for your families. Today, through the Renewed Hope Initiative and Economic Empowerment Program, we are providing 1,000 pre-selected women petty traders per state with a grant of 50,000 Naira each to recapitalize and grow their businesses. A total of 1 billion 850 million Naira will be disbursed to 37,000 women petty traders across the nation. And the good news for Delta, and I know the First Lady mentioned it, but the, His Excellency, your Mabel Governor, has decided to match our 50 million Naira grant to Delta with another sum of 50 million Naira. So instead of the women receiving 50,000, they are going to be receiving 100,000. <laughs> And I know you'll be excited because when she mentioned it, you didn't know it's for the traders as well. So you can see that your business, you know, has started growing. And we also distributed wallets. This, um, um, I call it money wallets. I don't know what they called it. The belt that you put your money. We have about another thousand. So those people who are here in their uniforms, I know you've started receiving. Have you started receiving? You see, they're all very wonderful. So you see that business is already getting buoyant. The grant provided today are to assist our women petty traders in overcoming some of their business challenges, expand their businesses, create more jobs, and contribute more robustly to our economy. Economic empowerment remains a core objective of the Renewed Hope Initiative. And we have consistently delivered on this promise for both women and youth across the sixth geopolitical zone to supporting the economic reforms of the administration of His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Chinubuchi CFR. We recognize that empowering women economically is not just a moral imperative, but a strategic one. When women thrive, their families thrive, and by extension, our communities and our nation prosper. I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to all our RHI state coordinators and first ladies of state, to everyone involved in making this program a reality, particularly their efforts in identifying the traders. This is really commendable. And I thank all our troops. You are just absolutely wonderful. You know, I remember we visited Belarus recently. They had a festival, and I was just thinking in my mind, Delta Troop would have been the best people to have been on the stage for their cultural. So thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Those dance reminded me when I was quite little. My grandma used to teach all of us. I was telling Her Excellency, my mom just turned 90, and I remember when we celebrated a small party for her, she sat on the chair, and then all the music, the Christian music we played was Shakiri music. And I remembered when my uh, sister's grandchildren were surrounding, and great, my mom has great grandchildren, and they were singing a particular one. And I said, it's true, me too, I have to, you have your own, God will give me my own too. <laughs> so it's just really, really wonderful. I remember all those dances and it's quite nostalgic for me. To the 1,000 women petty traders who are the beneficiaries of this program, I say, um, I quote, you are the heart of our local economies. 
the foundation of our communities and the unsung heroes of our nation, unquote. You have shown incredible resilience in overcoming countless challenges to build your businesses. Today, we celebrate your hard work and determination. Let us continue to work together to build a Nigeria where every woman has the opportunity to succeed, where every small business can grow and contribute to our nation's prosperity. I thank you all for attending today's event and may this support assist your various businesses to thrive. God bless Delta State. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. I know, before, I, before I take my seat, before I take my seat, I hope you are still growing your every home a garden. Grow garden. There's a prize for 25 million for the winner. So we did the national fabric. I shared with Her Excellency on my way. We already have the national fabric that we all are going to be celebrating in uh, October 1st. Because when you see Nigeria, when you see Igbo, you know this is Igbo, this is Hausa, this is Ibiobio, this is uh, Yoruba, this is Kuala, this, you know, we are just, and we want a Nigeria where our children will be proudly Nigerian. So do you all believe that? I'm giving every state 5,000 rappers. So it's not that I'm charging you. You will see that your children, a 25-year-old designed it, and we're all going to be wearing it. If I come to official visit like this, that's what I'll be wearing. Okay? You can see all the army officers' wives. Anywhere they go to, they will be fully clad in their uniform. So I think Nigerians, we also have to be ourselves and say we are Nigerian first before we start saying I'm Igbo, I'm Shekiri, I'm Yoruba. And I think that love is what we want to bring to the table for the coming generation. So I wish you all well. There are a lot of programs we have coming up. December, we are doing the elderly citizens again. Once I have enough goodwill from people, maybe I was telling Her Excellency, maybe I'll increase the number from um, 250 to 500 in December for the elderly. So I'm really, really happy to be home. God bless you. Thank you, ladies, for coming out. Thank you very much.
ya no se ere ere ya ere 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 tanano se ere 